Hello. In this video, I'll talk a bit about how you might use the index. Um, so you can see here that we mentioned um, that this project has an index and that it might let you choose records you're interested in transcribing. Um, but how do you find a record you're interested in transcribing? Um, so we can follow this link to the FAQ. Uh, and there are a few entries here about uh, the index and choosing records and things like that. Um, the one I'm taking you to right now is how to see the minute book indexes. So the minute books that we are working from all have their own indexes and we can look in those to find things we are interested in. So I'm just going to click on this one. And this brings me to the National Archives catalogue and I can press this here um, and that will load up the index for me. And then I can just leaf through it and look for things I might be interested in. Um, use these arrow keys to do that. Um, so I can just flick around, uh, look for something I might like to see. Um, so let's say I'm interested in artificial appliances. Um, and uh, let's say I want to know about this petition by English makers against employment of American firms. So that's on page 95. Um, and I'm looking in minute book 436. So uh, if I go back here, um, page 95 of minute book 436, I can look in this talk page. Uh, I can find minute book 436. Page 95 is in this range here, so it's in 1916 Q2. So now I can just go into the meetings workflow and I can find 1916 Q2. Uh, and I need to remember which page I was looking for, which was page 90. Good need to make that bigger. Page 95. And there we go. I should bring me to the right page. And there's the petition. Um, so that's just one way you might like to use the index to move around the minute books. Um, obviously, if you do do this and you start transcribing the bit you're interested in, we really need you to transcribe the whole page, please, so that we don't end up with gaps in our records. Um, there are other reasons to jump around in the index. Um, you might be following a page reference or a mention of a meeting on a particular date. You might want to follow the thread of what was being talked about to another meeting or another page. Um, you might also do it not so much to follow the thread of what was happening as just to solve a transcription problem. Um, so if you see a word and you can't quite read it, but you can see that the same thing was discussed somewhere else, you can go and look at the other discussion and it might be that the word is easier to read there or that the context makes it easier to work out what it says. Um, so those are just a few ways to use the index.